Hello everyone. Welcome back to White Ocean Big Jacket. And uh, we can... Okay. Let's talk to Mort. We get any signs or is it just dogs? Signs? Like fries. No. Applesauce? No. Cheesy rice? Or mashed potatoes with gravy and peas mixed in. Mm. Mm. There's a bag of chips. One bag of chips. It's a big bag. Any dips? Well, no. We are roughing it. That's <laughs> just, just two hot dogs. Nice. We always have hot dogs at family reunions. My mom always cooks them on the grill. She's always really excited about it. She gets about a hundred hot dogs from Fawns. It makes about a hundred sides. Honestly, I never really saw what the big deal was. But... Now I kind of see the appeal. I'm having some fun. That a boy. <laughs> I love these fire roasted hot dogs. Great job, Chloe. Thank you. I'm not even sorry I burnt that first batch so bad. In the end, we got these. Unbelievable dogs. She's right. These are something else. I just held them over the fire for not too long. Top dogs. Best in show. Love these dogs. Ruff, ruff. Bert. <laughs> Bert. Good dog. Good boy. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Are you enjoying your hot dog, Ben? Yes. Thank you very much. Ooh. Anybody want something from the table? Why? I was about to grab some mustard. And I'm offering to get you all something. You know, while I'm up. Oh, Anne. Please. Rest your old bones. And let us take care of it. Um, okay. Ben, go get some mustard for AC. Uh, and I want the spiciest barbecue this side of the mountains. Which mountains? I don't care, the mountains just make sure it's spicy. He went. Oh. Hey, Ben. I'll have a beer while you're up. Can I legally get you alcohol? Legally. You must. Good boy. <laughs> hey, Aunt Cloanne. Hey. I was just thinking about how we've never talked that much before. What do you mean? We see you every Christmas. Yeah, but I was a baby for most of those. I don't remember Jack squat. And I'd like to get to know my aunt too. No, my aunt now. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you want to know? What's your favorite beverage? Mine's Pip Extra. Gin and tonic. This is an adult beverage? Yeah, I guess so. So you like the good stuff, do you? What does it taste like? It's like bubbly pine trees. Do we have this drink here? Yeah. And I'm not allowed to drink it? Nope. Interesting. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright. So are we really just sit out here in the night? Is no one else feeling a little anxious about this? It's fine. It's normal. You're fine. 
I guess I just feel weird how dark it's getting. Isn't there like lights that come on? Ben, dude, you're freaking out. Just relax. I am maybe freaking out a little bit. I don't know if it's up to me to relax. Hey, uh, Ben. Yes? Take this. Take the flashlight. Okay. Why? It's a really powerful flashlight. Industrial grade. It's really fancy. It has a compass. It's waterproof. Red light mode so your eyes don't unadjust to the dark. 200 hours battery life and it's fully charged and rechargeable. There's an emergency GPS you can turn on so rescuers can find you. Wow. It has a holster and a cleaning kit. Those were in the car. Wow. You hang on to that. That is a big flashlight. I want to make a toast. What? Like over the fire? Or did you bring a toaster? Oh, I mean a toast, like at a wedding? Wedding toast? A couple tiered toasts? With icing flowers? And tiny people on top? It's a speech that... She knows what a toast is. Who does? You make toasts all the time. What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Am I such an easy target? To the greatest fool I know. Uncle Brad. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Lighter flake. Inhale. Hey. Hmm? Maybe. Well, you know the secondhand smoke? Are you talking about us? Hit him with the light, Ben. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I can't believe you've turned my own flashlight against me. You're busted. 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 <laughs> I am busted. I'm actually stuffed. I am a stuffed animal. What are you doing? You're gonna attract a wolf or worse. Ah, don't worry about that. I've been peeing around the perimeter. Marking our territory. Mord. Who? Are you... I am the alpha of our pack, and I am protecting us from wolves. Thank you. <laughs> She's such a person. I love her. Why aren't you some kind of professional camper or park ranger, Brett? Yeah. Shouldn't you be like a tent master for the rich and famous? Or did you used to be, but you were forced to resign in shame. Sad news today is Brad J. Roberts has stepped down as Hat Camp Ranger. A video of him has gone viral in which he kicked a possum. I would never kick a possum. And my middle initial isn't J. Then why does Aunt Chloanne always call you Brad J? You, uh, heard that? It's... Well, it's a pet name. You are her pet? A pet name is like a cute nickname for your significant other. You know, like sweetie or honey or... Hmm. What are you meaning about? Hmm. Bet she's thinking about a pet name for... Uh... Forgot his name again. <laughs> Hey, sweet. Thank you, honey. No problem. I might just be a kid, but isn't that Pooh's bottle empty? Oh, ho, ho, ho. So glad you asked. You need an empty liquor bottle if you want to meet the Diablo. 
Oh boy. Ghost stories. It takes a little while. So for now, we just take turns rubbing the outside of the bottle. Like this, see? What's it going to do? Is it going to explode? You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Ew, creepy laugh, dude. Don't you laugh in front of a nun like that? I don't know any nuns. Hmm. Wonder why. <laughs> While we're waiting for the bottle to actually do something, who knows a scary story? I like hook hand on a rear view window. That's a good one. No, Brad, can't drive. Something relatable, please. I know one about a girl wearing a green scarf, but then her head falls off. Someone told me one once where a mayor eats a bunch of kids. The lactability is actually a movie from the 90s. Well, excuse me for being dead at the time. Oh, you're not dead before you're born. Then what are you? I have a good one. It's called... Um... The Rats in the Sink. The Rats in the Sink. Alright. Let's hear that then. Every Saturday when I was six, my parents would take a nap from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Sometimes I would get thirsty, and so I would use a step stool to get a glass of water from the sink to drink while I watched cartoons. One Saturday in April, I went to get a drink, and out of the drink crawled a rat. It was a small rat with greasy gray fur and small black eyes. It ran around in the sink but couldn't get out. I wasn't allowed to wake up my parents and it was whimpering and squeaking. And I didn't know what to do. So I tossed some shredded cheese into the sink which it scooped up piece by piece and disappeared back into the drain. Ooh, ooh. Every Saturday then, it would be back. I could hear it squeaking and scratching, waiting for me. And I gave it more food. Cheese, bread, hot dogs. Then one day it came with a second bread. Then a third. By June there were 30. I was dumping a whole loaf of bread into the sink and it carried it down into the drain. <laughs> what a story. Finally, one week I tried to ignore them. I turned up the volume on the TV, but I could hear them squeaking, scratching. They started hissing, and I became so, so thirsty. When I went into the kitchen, the sink was filled with rats, swarming, hissing, tossing each other around took a bag of bread and dragged the step stool over. When I was pouring the bread into the sink, they leapt up and grabbed the bag. I crawled up it. I tried to let go, but they grabbed me and started crawling onto me. I fell off the step stool and landed hard on my back. The rats crawling all over me. They were biting my arms and my shirt. They were biting my neck. I screamed. <laughs> Those eyes, and now Mort has his attention. <laughs> My dad came running in. He was in his boxer shorts. He was tearing the rats off of me and throwing them. They started retreating. Scampering back into the drain. My mom was there too, in a robe. She was screaming too. They weren't sleeping, the parents. <laughs> and she turned on the garbage disposal. And the noises blood was splashing out of the sink. Dad pulled me off the ground and he held me and I saw them. Spinning. The rats in the sink. They never came back. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, the end. Yeah, yeah. That's the end. <laughs> Did that really happen? No. <laughs> but it was so specific. <laughs> Pardon me, please, but pretty fucked up. Sorry. No, Ben. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, man. You're a scary story champ. Thank you. <laughs> Ben's pretty amazing at stories. It's one of the many things that I like about it. Yeah, unfortunately for us. <laughs> How am I supposed to sleep tonight? Don't worry, baby. I'll protect you. From a mob of sink rats? Well, I mean, I'll try my best. Yeah, there's nothing else that you can do. Okay, well, I think the Diablo is ready. Are you ready? Yes! It has been like an hour. I'm ready. I have the matches. I'll need a volunteer. Then, Mort, who's it gonna be? Oh, do I have to choose now? Let's go for Mort. Ready? Yeah, let's go for Mort. All right, Mort. Stepping up. Hold your horses. I'm coming. So full. Okay, I'm gonna light the match. And you're going to drop it into the bottle. That's it. Let's spice things up. Ben, if you'll run to my backpack, please. I have headband and a scarf. I want you to put the headband over my eyes and tie my arms behind my back with the scarf. I'll be right back. No! No, no. Don't do that. Mort, should I listen to him? If you're blindfolded, you'll miss the whole show. Fine. Just a scarf, then. Ben, sit down. Oh, look at that. That is pretty cool. Uncle Brad, I'm not easily impressed. But that was amazing. Like magic. I really liked it. I don't know what I expected, but it was better than that. I love getting to do the Diablo. And Pumpcha liked it too. I didn't think they'd like it this much. Well done. It's all in the execution. Just need to sell it. Can't wait till we're old enough to drink down one of those bottles. Do the Diablo ourselves. Yeah. Oh no. I think my mom and dad have a couple of half full ones. Oh, dang, we can use those. This isn't good. I'll bring the matches. <laughs> okay. Well, for now, we're going to leave it here because we have been recording for quite a while. Um, so I want to thank you very much for watching White Ocean Big Jacket. And I will see you next time.